Good day everyone, it's Ronnie 28 coming at you with the New York Times Games and the Custom Connections Action for October 11th. Uh, we'll have the three games, the normal New York Times Games, and then we'll have a Custom Connections Solve from Randy M and an introduction of a puzzle from Alan Sassani. So look forward to that. Uh, today is the next day of our clothing challenge uh, for starting words. Today the word is stole. I'm going to say it now for tomorrow. It'll be frock because I'll forget to say it later. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, let's put stole in. Stole in. Okay. Uh, so stole gets us S and T out of position. All right. Let's move those around. Um, all I can see is pasta, but I don't want to do a double A. That's for sure. Uh, Let's try, I don't know, B, B isn't a good choice. I could pop them at the end. Like, a word like first, I guess. First, burst. kind of want to get the A in there. Um, S at the end probably isn't going to be a thing. Uh, let's try burst. It's the first thing I thought of. Let's try it out. Hmm. Okay. So let's move the S and T over. Um, could be a U-S-T-Y word. Okay, what options do we have? I don't really want to lock in the S and T there yet, because then I'll be stuck in that trap. And I think there's uh, a few here. Uh, gusty, dusty, busty's gone. I'm sure some people might like that as an answer, but uh, not today. No bustiness today. All right. Uh, so musty, dusty, gusty. Might just be the three. Dusty, gusty, musty. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just run the gamut here. Uh, it's going to be hard to put uh, anything in here to check multiple answers. Okay. Uh, let's, let's just do dusty and musty. Dusty, oh, gusty. Let's just go in alphabetical order. Let's go dusty. No. Gusty. There it is. Okay. Dust, uh, gusty in four. Uh, had I been in um, not hard mode, I probably could have got a three. But uh, yeah, it's the way it goes, right? Or it probably would have been a four because I'd have to do a, a test word, right? Okay. I am okay with that. Let's move on to the next puzzle, which is strands. All right. Tracy Bennett is editing a puzzle by Christina Everson, or I. <laughs> I get called out on saying it one way or the other, so I'm just saying Christina I. That's all I'm going to stick with. All right, October 11th, let's do it. Let's experiment. Ooh, are these uh, lab uh, items, lab uh, implements, apparatus, if you will? Okay, so uh, goggles. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what we're looking at. Goggles. Uh, so something about a lab. Let's see if we can find a lab. Just quickly. Uh, lab. So like laboratory. Lab. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Goggles. Uh, flask. Chemical, chemistry, chemistry lab, absolutely, okay. All right, thermometer, uh, pipette, and beaker, all right, 
it's just me or have these got easier the last couple of days? It might just be me. Okay, let's move on to uh, connections. Let's try and keep these videos shorter than they used to be. All right, October 11th, puzzle 488 by Winnaloo. What do you have for us today? Nerve, splash, extra, relish, gravy, treasure, sauce, dip, dive, bonus, value, brass, frosting, cheek, swim, and savor. You can relish it, you can value it, you can savor it. Brass it, bonus it, dive it, gravy it, treasure it. Okay, there it is. Uh, to a really, really appreciate. Um, I'm going to try and do the reverse uh, rainbow. I think that's kind of what people are going for nowadays. That's how you get the most points um, from from here, anyways. And I know there's a big debate about whether you should stick to the 10 point system that uh, most of us are familiar with, or if you go with uh, the New York Times stuff and try and find purple first, but for the viewers, I think they'd rather just see you get an answer and pop it in rather than try and puzzle it all, all out ahead of time. Um, had, I, had I did this by myself, I think I'd probably look for purple first, but I know it's going to be a very uh, exhausting and frustrating viewer experience if you don't just find something and pop it in. Um, we do have to realize we are entertainers here. It's like finding Spangram first in strands. Sure, that might be a personal goal, a personal challenge to yourself, but it's not very viewer friendly, I'll be honest with you. And I'm sure finding purple in uh, connections is also a similar experience. Um, I do watch other people on occasion, not very often, but I'm like, just put in the answer, just do it, just go for it, you know? Who cares? Who cares if you get a 99 or a 95 or, you know? Putting in false answers is a whole different. Uh, kettle of fish. But finding a proper group and then putting it in, I think, is what we're trying to aim to do uh, if we have viewers, if it's, you know, for entertainment purposes. So anyways, with that said, I will pop in this. I'll say really appreciate. Cherish, yeah, okay. Um, you have the nerve, the cheek, the brass, and the sauce. So it's like a uh, The, the cojones, <laughs> the, uh, oh, what's that word they keep putting in here? Um, I'm sure it'll be a different word. Um, I think it's that uh, Hebrew word. Um, it's got a silent letter at the start. I'm sure that's what they'll use for it though. But uh, I'm going to say the, the cojones. Brashness. Ooh. Okay, that's not the word I was thinking of. Okay. Um, it's bonus. It's gravy. It's extra. It's frosting. This is sort of like, um, you know, a bit of uh, added benefit, I suppose. Supplement to what's required. Okay, and then I see what the last one is. Okay. Added benefit. Okay. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. Uh, dive, dip, swim, and splash. These are all things you can do in the pool. Swimming pool. Quick jump in the pool. Very, very nice. All right. Let's see how I did on the bot because it was a bit, uh, a bit uh, unconventional. All right, yeah, you got your terms of service, good for you. All right, solve rate of 74%, two out of five difficulty. Okay, well, still, I'm only part of the 18% of viewers that uh, as of 12.36 on uh, October 10th have done the puzzle that have uh, done with no errors. So that's decent. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what it's like uh, for those who record day of to see if the number's gone down. But hey, if you check out mine and at, you know, the day before at 12.36, Eastern time, it's 74%. And then once it gets to, say you watch Kenny's video yet uh, tomorrow at, uh, or later today at 5 p.m., 
uh, when he usually uh, releases his video. It'll be interesting to see what the solve rate is, or even uh, some of the other guys that check out the, uh, the connection spot. Anyways, uh, let's move on to uh, the custom stuff. I'll see you there. Hello everybody, we're back with the custom connections action. Uh, let's get into it uh, right away. Try and keep this video short. So what kind of animal are you by Randy M? Uh, so we have coxcomb, informant, gastronomist, gastronomist, curmudgeon, snitch, diner, foodie, dasher, spoil sport, dude, gourmand, pessimist, blabbermouth, tattle, grump, and fashionista. Okay, so just looking at these words here, um, a diner, a foodie, a gastronomist, that brings me images of people eating, people that enjoy eating, uh, people that specialize in eating, uh, not necessarily eating a lot, just they have a, a fine palate, I suppose. Um, looking at these other words, I don't know, gourmand, it's kind of like gourmet. I don't know, it's not a word I'm familiar with. Dasher, I don't know. I, I don't think uh, a door dasher is quite the uh, the foodie, uh, you know, that uh, I think the other words sort of uh, bring up the images. So I'm gonna forget about that one. A snitch, a tattle, maybe a blabbermouth. Maybe an informant, someone that uh, has loose lips, I suppose. Spoils the fun, which would sort of be a spoils sport as well. Hmm. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So a, a curmudgeon is sort of someone that's uh, not happy. Pessimist has a, a negative outlook on life for the most part. A grump is not happy. And maybe a, a spoiled sport is not happy. Huh. Coxcomb, dude, dasher, and fashionista. A fashionista is someone likes clothes. Dude, a dasher, Costco, fashionista. Hmm. Well, those might go together. I'm not sure why. I might just have to say that till the end. I'm not, uh, not too sure about that. Gourmand. All right, up. I'm going to take a guess here that gourmand means someone that likes uh, to eat or really enjoys fine food. Um, yeah, people that enjoy fine food. Chowhound. Oh, these are animals. Chowhound. Okay, well, I've never said chowhound. Okay. So, yeah, a grump, a pessimist, a curmudgeon. I'm still going to stick with spoil sport. I think these are people that are... Uh, I'm not going to think of a, an animal name, but I'll try and get a synonym for that. Um, uh, pessimist, grump. Uh, maybe uh, someone that's not happy, I suppose. Um, Sourpuss, okay. All right, good, good, good path so far, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, a snitch. It could be a dash or someone that dashes the fun. Hmm. Informant. A tattle, a blabbermouth, a dasher. Dasher fashionista dude in Coxcomb. 
I think this is these are people with big mouths. Stool pigeon. <laughs> Alright, and then purple is coxcomb dash or dude and fashionista. Fashionista means people that like clothes. The people that like clothes. Um be a dude likes clothes, a dasher, a coxcomb. Some that enjoys wearing uh, fancy clothes. A clothes horse. Okay. Randy, <laughs> these are quite the titles, man. Okay. Uh, anyways, I enjoyed this puzzle. I'm not quite sure exactly what some of these things mean. But, uh, I, th yeah, I shouldn't say that. I, I get uh, yellow, green, and, and blue. For sure, uh, clothes horse. I'm not sure exactly. Is that just people that like clothes in any capacity? Maybe not fancy clothes, just just clothes, I guess. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the uh, preview of tomorrow's solve. It's by Ellen, E16, blast from the past. So our words today are Shire, which <laughs> just came up a couple days ago. Uh, sequel, rep reprise, encore, trifle, Clydesdale. Belgian, Crossword, Balance, Detergent, Remake, Percheron, Percheron, I don't know, new word for me, Mountain Range, Wheelbarrow, Waterfall, and Avalanche. All right, give that a solve. I will solve it uh, on tomorrow's puzzle, uh, tomorrow's video. Uh, with that said, hopefully you enjoyed all the puzzles today. Have yourself a great rest of your day. I will catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.